Hey, it's Mr. Jaynes. We're going to practice using slope and distance formulas. Uh, I'm going to do this two ways. First, I'm going to use the formulas, and then I'm going to do it again without using the formulas. So if you'd like to try these on your own, uh, go ahead and do that. Pause the video here, and then turn it back on to see uh, the right answers. All right, so here we go. Slope. Uh, the slope formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, okay? Uh, so that equals, let's see, um, draw a line, y2, uh, let, me, let, me, let me label these, x1, y1, x2, y2, okay, uh, my y2 is negative 6, okay, my y1 is 4, so minus 4, uh, my x2 is 1, my x1 is 3, Okay, so negative 6 minus 4, negative 10. Okay, 1 minus 3 is negative 2. Okay, I've got, let's see, a negative 10 over 2. So a negative divided by a negative is going to be a positive. Okay, and 10 over 2 reduces to 5. So my slope is 5. All right, distance, distance. I've got to use the giant formula, square root of y2 minus y1 squared plus x2 minus x1 squared. And let's plug all the numbers into that. Um, negative 6 minus 4 squared plus, where am I, 1 minus 3 squared, all under a giant square root. Negative 6 minus 4 is 10. Nope, sorry, negative 10 squared plus 1 minus 3 is negative 2 squared, all under giant square root still. Negative 10 squared is 100, right? Positive 100. 100 plus negative 2 squared is 4. So can't forget that square root. Uh, then the square root of 104. And let me grab my calculator. Get that as a decimal. Um... On. Second square root of 104. Okay, there it is. Square root of 104. And I get 10.198. Let's call that 10.20. Let's round up to two decimal places. So that is 10.20, and there's my distance. Distance, and I got my slope over here. Okay, let's do it again without the formulas, okay? This time without the formulas. Okay. I'm going to use change in y over change in x. Change in y over change in x. So, um, from 4 to negative 6, okay, what's going on? Well, it looks like I'm um, going down by 10, okay? From 3 to 1, Okay, it looks like I'm decreasing by 2. Okay, um, so that means that my change in y was negative 10. My change in x was negative 2. And that simplifies to 5. Okay, there's my slope. All right, let's do the distance now. Um, again, I'm going to use Pythagorean theorem for this. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And if you'll remember, a and b are the same as my change in y and change in x. My change in y was negative 10 squared. My change in, uh, in x was negative 2 squared equals c squared. Negative 10 squared is 100. Okay. Uh, negative 2 squared is 4. 100 plus 4 is 104 equals c squared. And I'm not done yet. Got to get rid of that squared. So you take the square root of both sides, and the square root of 104, well, we did it before, it was 10.20, and that's your, your C, or your distance. Okay? So, really, I've got the same answers I had before, um, but I've done it a little bit differently. Before, I, I relied on the formulas, and now, I don't rely on the formulas. And if you check your time, I've explained all of this, and finished both slope and distance in five minutes, and it probably took me only a minute to do this this last one. So, the formulas are good, 
especially good if you're confused, you get large numbers, or you're, you're not quite comfortable with everything yet. But if you can get away from the formulas, you can actually do slope and distance much faster. Okay? Good luck.